Cardiac Magnetic Resonance Imaging, CMR, is the gold standard for assessing cardiac function. Segmenting the left ventricle, right ventricle, and LV myocardium in CMR images is crucial but time-consuming. Deep learning-based segmentation methods have emerged as effective tools for automating this process. However, CMR images present additional challenges due to irregular and varying heart shapes, particularly in basal and apical slices. The proposed method, a classifier-guided two-stage network with an all-slice information fusion transformer, aims to enhance CMR segmentation accuracy, particularly in basal and apical slices. This approach is evaluated on extensive clinical datasets and demonstrates better performance in terms of DICE score compared to previous CNN-based and transformer-based models. The challenges in CMR imaging arise from slow MRI acquisition and the need for breath holding, resulting in multiple 2D image acquisitions with large slice gaps, introducing spatial discontinuity across slices, especially at boundaries like basal and apical slices. The proposed method addresses these challenges by leveraging a classifier-guided two-stage network, which refines segmentation results through iterative refinement. The all-slice information fusion transformer further enhances segmentation accuracy by aggregating information from all slices. The method's effectiveness is attributed to its ability to capture spatial dependencies across slices and handle irregular heart shapes. In the realm of cardiac magnetic resonance, CMR, imaging, segmenting basal and apical slices is a challenging task that hinders accurate cardiac function analysis. Even experienced radiologists struggle to differentiate ambiguous anatomies due to complex appearance variations. To address this issue, deep learning segmentation methods, particularly convolution neural networks, CNNs, have emerged as promising solutions for automating the process. However, despite their potential, 3D networks have not surpassed 2D networks in CMR data due to discontinuity across slices. Two-stage coarse to fine frameworks and the integration of transformers with CNNs have shown superior performance over pure CNN-based networks. The authors present a multi-slice CMR image illustrating the variability in anatomy appearances across slices, highlighting the difficulties in determining chamber junctions and apical segmentation. They observe that radiologists typically assess the presence of anatomy in an image slice before annotation and refer to neighboring slices in challenging cases. This observation forms the basis for their proposed methodology, which aims to leverage the information from neighboring slices to improve segmentation accuracy. A novel two-stage and multitask framework is proposed for cardiac imaging segmentation, emulating the radiologist's annotation process. The framework consists of an initial segmentation stage, SEG stage, and a segmentation refinement stage, REF stage. In the SEG stage, a CNN plus transformer model generates initial segmentation probability maps from all slices, leveraging self-attention mechanisms to integrate features across the volume. These probability maps indicate the likelihood of different anatomical structures in each slice. The REF stage refines these probability maps using another CNN plus transformer model, guided by a classifier, to incorporate additional contextual information and improve accuracy. The framework was evaluated on both the public ACDC dataset and a private clinical CMR dataset, demonstrating superior performance compared to CNN-based and transformer-based models. Quantitative results showed improved dice coefficients, particularly in challenging regions such as basal RV, apical RV, and basal MYO. Qualitative assessments revealed visually appealing segmentation shapes that closely resembled human annotations, without holes or broken fragments. The two-stage approach mimics the radiologist's annotation process, where initial observations are refined based on further examination. The multitask model integrates both segmentation and classification tasks, leveraging the strengths of both CNNs and transformers in processing spatial and sequential data. The all-slice fusion transformer allows for efficient processing of entire volumes, capturing long-range dependencies and contextual information across slices. By combining the strengths of different architectures and tasks, the proposed framework achieves state-of-the-art results in cardiac imaging segmentation. The all-slice fusion transformer is a critical component in the proposed architecture, 
designed to efficiently fuse information from different slices and capture long-distance intraslice dependencies. Placed at the bottlenecks of both the SEG stage and REF stage, this module combines the strengths of UNET with selective kernel convolutions and vision transformer. In this hybrid architecture, images from all slices are concatenated along the batch dimension and fed into a CNN encoder. The bottleneck features are then passed through two consecutive transformers, which perform interslice attention and intraslice attention, respectively. A CNN decoder with skip connections from the encoder produces the segmentation results. Notably, this architecture is motivated by after UNET, with two key modifications, the addition of selective kernel convolutions to enhance in-plane global feature extraction, and the removal of position encoding in the transformer to facilitate variable input slice lengths. This design enables the model to capture complex dependencies between slices, leading to improved segmentation performance. In the REF stage, a multitasking model is employed, comprising a classification branch and a segmentation refining branch. The classification branch, a multi-layer perceptron, takes the bottleneck features from the CNN encoder and outputs a probability vector indicating the presence or absence of specific anatomies, such as the right ventricle, left ventricle, or myocardium. The corresponding classification labels are derived from the ground truth segmentation. By providing additional context and constraints, the classification branch guides the segmentation refinement, enabling the model to produce more accurate and refined segmentations. Cardiac Magnetic Resonance Imaging CMR, segmentation is revolutionized by a novel approach that integrates classification and segmentation tasks. During training, the model prioritizes classes with high confidence, exceeding 0.5, to ensure accurate segmentation outputs. In inference, only classes with high confidence are included in the final segmentation, refining the model's precision. The loss function is a synergy of segmentation and classification losses, striking a balance between the two branches. The approach was evaluated on two datasets, the publicly available ACDC dataset and a private CMR dataset. These datasets comprise multi-slice 2D Cine CMR images from various time points, annotated for left ventricle, LV, right ventricle, RV, and myocardium, MYO. Training and testing were performed on a patient level, demonstrating the model's ability to segment cardiac anatomy with high accuracy. This integrated approach showcases promising results, highlighting the potential for accurate cardiac segmentation in CMR imaging. The experimental setup and results for a proposed method in cardiac MRI segmentation are discussed in this section of the research paper. This method is compared to several state-of-the-art methods, including SKU-NET, after UNET, and a two-stage detection and segmentation model. Evaluation metrics used include DICE scores for the right ventricle, RV, myocardium, MYO, and left ventricle, LV, across different slice levels basal, mid, and apical. The proposed method outperforms all other methods on the average DICE of basal and apical slices, with a slight difference in mid slices. It achieves the best RV DICE in all slice levels as well as the best DICE scores for basal MYO, basal LV, and mid-LV. Example segmentation results are provided for two basal slices from adjacent frames and one apical slice, demonstrating the proposed method's ability to accurately match ground truth annotations, particularly in the challenging RV segmentation task. The visual comparison in Figure 4 demonstrates the efficacy of the proposed approach in producing accurate segmentations without holes or fragments particularly in the apical slice. The ablation study, outlined in Table 2, examines the effectiveness of specific design components. By employing SKU-NET for single-slice models and after U-NET for all-slice models, the study reveals superior segmentation performance in mid- and apical slices when incorporating multi-slice information. The addition of the refinement stage yields significant improvements in challenging cases, such as the right ventricle, myocardium, and left ventricle in base slices, as well as the right ventricle in apex slices. The inclusion of an additional classification branch enhances performance in very challenging cases, like RV segmentation in base slices. In contrast, relocating the classification branch to the segmentation stage results in degraded performance, 
suggesting that complex image features may compromise classification accuracy. The ablation study results, presented in Table 2, demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed two-stage, multitask, and all-slice fusion transformer for cardiac magnetic resonance, CMR, image segmentation. The study evaluates various models, including single-slice, SS, and all-slice, as, models, with and without multitasking, MT, and refinement, REF, stages. The results show that the two-stage and multitask structures significantly enhance basal segmentation, while the all-slice fusion structure greatly improves apical and mid-segmentation. The proposed method leverages multi-slice information and the long-distance modeling capabilities of vision transformers, yielding promising results. The REF stage, coupled with a classification branch, demonstrates notable improvements when incorporating multi-slice information aligning with expert knowledge of referring to neighboring slices for delineating ambiguous anatomies. The classifier-guided segmentation approach proves more effective when applied to coarse segmentation rather than the image itself, as it removes intensity variations, artifacts, and adjacent anatomies in the image domain, allowing the segmentation to focus more on the heart structure and shape. The classification branch serves as a crucial prior during both training and inference, providing global information to alleviate the limitations of pixel-level losses like cross-entropy and mean square error. The global supervision helps guide the network in handling ambiguous cases, such as the right ventricle, RV, on base slices with even inconsistent ground truth labels. The study focuses on segmenting multi-slice cine images without leveraging temporal correlations, which presents a promising direction for future work. The proposed method can be extended to explore temporal and spatiotemporal correlations, and its applicability is not limited to cardiac magnetic resonance, CMR, images, but can also be applied to other multi-slice CMR applications such as late gadolinium enhancement, LGE, images. Moreover, the choice of backbone is not restricted to after UNET, and other backbones capable of effectively integrating 3D spatial information are worth investigating. The proposed study introduces a novel approach that aims to automate the segmentation of CMR images, thereby alleviating the workload burden on radiologists. The proposed work achieves accurate and visually pleasing segmentation shapes in challenging basal and apical slices, which may represent a significant stride towards the practical implementation of deep learning CMR segmentation in clinical settings. The study builds upon existing works in the field of deep learning for cardiac image segmentation, including 2D and 3D deep learning techniques, transformer-based architectures, and hybrid models that combine convolutional neural networks, CNNs, with transformers. Notably, the authors draw upon the works of Baumgartner et al., 2017, on exploring 2D and 3D deep learning techniques for cardiac MISTER image segmentation, Bernard et al., 2018, on deep learning techniques for automatic MRI cardiac multistructure segmentation and diagnosis, and Sao et al., 2022, on the Swin U net architecture for medical image segmentation. Additionally, the study references Chen et al., 2020, on deep learning for cardiac image segmentation, Chen et al., 2021, on the Trans U net architecture, Ding et al., 2021, on the Tostagen architecture for brain tumor segmentation, Dosevitsky et al., 2020, on transformers for image recognition, Gao et al., 2021, on the UTNet architecture, and Hatamizade et al., 2022, on the Swin UNETR architecture for semantic segmentation of brain tumors in MRI images. The authors present a comprehensive list of 23 key concepts in the field of quantum computing providing an in-depth analysis and discussion on each concept. These concepts are organized into three main categories, quantum algorithms, quantum hardware, and quantum error correction. Quantum algorithms include Grover's algorithm, Shor's algorithm, and quantum Fourier transform, among others. These algorithms leverage quantum mechanics to solve complex computational problems more efficiently than classical algorithms. For instance, Grover's algorithm significantly reduces the time required for searching unsorted databases, while Shor's algorithm can factor large numbers, a task crucial for cryptography. 
Quantum hardware covers various quantum computing architectures such as superconducting qubits, ion traps, and quantum annealers. Each architecture has its own strengths and challenges, with ongoing research focusing on improving coherence times, error rates, and scalability. Quantum error correction is essential for practical quantum computing due to the high error rates in current quantum systems. Techniques like surface codes, steam codes, and shore codes are designed to mitigate errors without measuring the quantum state, which would collapse it. These codes use redundancy and entanglement to protect quantum information. The paper also touches upon the challenges and limitations of quantum computing, including decoherence, noise, and the need for further advancements in materials science and engineering. It concludes by highlighting the potential of quantum computing to revolutionize various fields, including cryptography, drug discovery, and optimization problems, if these challenges can be addressed.